Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank IFRI and the government of Ethiopia for providing me this wonderful opportunity to share, learn, and participate in this conference. I believe this uh, issue of resilience is going to be in the center stage of development agenda in the future. The issue cannot be more significant than to countries like Nepal, where a little less than one quarter of the populations are under uh, below poverty line, and agriculture is deeply rooted culture of the societies there. I represent Ministry of Agricultural Development, which is largely responsible for agriculture-related policy formulation, extension service delivery, and coordination of agriculture programs in the country. To give a brief context of Nepal, I'd like to highlight some statistics here. Nepal ranks 83 out of 107 countries in Global Food Security Index and 49th out of 78 countries in Global Hunger Index 2013. Although it has made significant progress on the index value, but that the figure of uh, around one quarter of the population is still below poverty uh, speaks a lot. At the country level, we have made the significant progress. Uh, it was 42% around uh, one and a half decades before, but now it comes to that 23%, but that has not been reflected in other nutritional aspects. Uh, malnutrition rate under, uh, for children under five years of age is around 39%, stunted 41%, wasted 12%, <coughs> premier, uh, underweight birth 12% of the children, so this is the alarming situations and with uh, more vulnerable situations in terms of the climate change risks, uh, uh, it adds to the problem that we already have. Therefore, the building resilience to nutrition insecurity and other shocks is uh, the most probably uh, the most appropriate approach in our context. Now I'll like to talk, talk uh, on critical issues about this. It is about different wearing a different lens uh, uh, towards the towards our approach and policies. When we talk about resilience, it's more about the community development, and so we are definitely talking about people-centered approach in it. So, so why I'm saying different lenses? Although uh, ministry's priority for long has been the food security. For a uh, few co recent couple of uh, years, now we have moved to food and nutrition security. Previously, Food security was under the purview of Ministry of Agriculture and Nutrition Security under the Ministry of Health. So there were the institutional silos. But now what we have done is we, we are also promoting the food-based nutritional approach and now we are working very closely with uh, Ministry of Health as well because uh, now we, we are all clear this. Mm. But that, that, um, that emphasized my, my, my issue of, uh, issue of uh, focusing on resilience because this is, the, this is the lens that we are going to have. Thank you.